Welcome back to Prey. We're in the crew quarters right now. Going through dining places and theaters. Speaking of which, let's head into the theater. At the end of the last episode, I tried to cover up this person. Unfortunately, I can't. But, I see that I can carry the movie poster, which means that it's a distinct object. And do you know what that means? Killer Inside with Gary Lee. Please swipe your tracking bracelet to recall your reservation. Rising Stars. Um, I've already read this. I don't know why this... <laughs> For some reason, I find this cool that there's, like, internal consistency within the universe they've made. I mean, why wouldn't there be, but... Gary Lee snubbed? And Gary Lee isn't just a completely random name. That's who's in this movie. Welcome, Morgan, you. I can take it with me. I can have a reservation anywhere. Leaky theater. Hmm. There might be something up there. Popcorn. Low fidelity popcorn. here, but a little pathway. Whoa. I saw a cystoid nest get highlighted for some reason. Oh. You know what for some reason never occurred to me to do? Every time I've taken out a cystoid nest and I look for an object to toss down, why don't I ever think to check my inventory and drop something? Right? I mean, like... A baseball glove. Do I have any crumpled paper? No, but a baseball glove is fine. I mean, it's not like it's really important. What's the... Drop? X. Oh. Actually, can I throw it? If I press F, it just takes it in my inventory. What if I hold down F? No, never mind. You, you can't really throw it. How about this thing? Oh, crap. They found me? Uh, maybe I'll just walk in there. Looks like only one kind of found me. Is it actually playing? Marty Mark, 
Amontinez Montinez and Brandon Ricard with Will Richen and Transgressions. Oh, I see you. So, I found your sticky note. The one under the desk, with your password. Wait, you were under my desk? <laughs> Look, you need to keep your password safe, alright? I'm watching out for you because I love you. You love me? I love you enough to crawl under your desk. I totally wasn't looking for the pen I dropped. Flatter. She totally just tried to cover up that she was actually in love with her. Did that really go over her head that she's actually in love with her? She didn't do a very convinc <clears throat> convincing job covering it up. Let's get this out of the way. Oh. Thought I had more time. Well, this is a convenient time to try out the super fruit. Alright, let's see how good you are. Whoa! I think that gives you max health inside. That's pretty awesome. I didn't want to go to. I don't like this. Get me out of here. Hmm. That lip doesn't help. Can I just go out of here? I don't know where this leads to. Oh, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Where was I? Checked out that one, checked out that one. Oh, I guess that's it, isn't it? Yeah, alright. This time though, let's not fall off. It really is so cool that I could just jump super high and then kind of like jetpack drift my way and break through a window. It's pretty badass. Pretty badass. Fatal Fortress world map. I'm impressed with my reaction then. I don't remember if it was Fatal Fortress, but I know I re received a note that had a treasure map. And it looked like it was for some... Some game. I'm safe. All right. Uh, Elias has... Stab fellow! Stab fellow has vanished into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. 
But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood, the cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door... Oh, forget that. It just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder, we don't have much choice. Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer her? Hell no! You hear nothing from the darkness. It has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right. Let me light a torch. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes. Right here. Stabfellow's treasure map. Still don't know what I'm looking at. Also, weren't those those the two people that were definitely in love? Or were at least one person's in love? Sounded like they both were. Captain Stabfellow, Elias Black, 32, 6'2. Ah, so small it's really hard to read. Don't see anything interesting in there. My god, that's even harder to read. Rosalind... something. Emma Betty? It's too bad I can't zoom in. High dexterity. As you'd expect for what looks like an archer kind of character. Longbow, dagger. Okay, can you... Can you please be quiet? Fortress Game Master's Tome, 6th edition. Greetings, Game Master. Fatal Fortress is a world deprived of sunlight. As Game Master, you will guide a troop of stalwart adventurers through glittering caves crawling with ratmen, into battles against horrors that have slept for centuries, and deep into the secret heart of the Fatal Fortress itself. Unlike other games, Fatal Fortress has no set character classes, instead encouraging players to play their own way by mixing and matching abilities as they are faced with new challenges. This game also features a dramatic magic system where players create their own spells by drawing and combining runes. Each player will need a character record sheet, a miniature to represent their character on the combat map, a full set of polyhedral dice, and a thirst for danger. Is that readable? <laughs> Not like that. I think it's too blurry anyway. The Ogre's Keep. Remember, blind ogres can call for help with gongs, try to distract flag Dastrous from using white gem against necro. I think that's game master notes. Well, oh, there's hard and baffle flag Dastrous. For Zach, 5-3. Or no, not 5-3. Five, five, <laughs> Their age is 5-3. Like a height. No. Their age is 53. Their height is 6-1. High intelligence, as you'd expect for a wizard. Staff and a dagger. Well, they also have an ink and quill on them. Handy. On the road, spellcrafting. be stuff up there. I'll explore that last, though. This way just goes out, right? Yeah. 
Well, I guess before I go down, I'll explore it. Oop, crap. Oh. That's not the way. Maybe this. Nope, that didn't work. Whoa. Oh, hi. I want to try my laser on you. Him a little bit, which is why I started whacking at the air. Ah. If it's so hard to get up there, there's probably nothing. But you never know. Oh, come on, jump. I'm like vaulting over instead of jumping. Stay. Yeah, there's nothing up there. Ah! Oof, Christ. Perfect atmosphere for a poltergeist. Global Unity Games. Excerpt from a gaming magazine article, Altered Humans, by Halo Michelson. The Global Unity Games have come to a close, but final metal totals for the participating nations are in limbo amid allegations of neural enhancements and next-generation pharmaceutical use. Every year these games see previous records shattered, and the latest is no exception. By a stunning margin. Trying to jump scare me. There's no poltergeist there anymore. A poem. Matches will be a combination of eight ball and nine ball grand prizes and one night stay in an executive suite. Blah blah blah, don't share private information with Earth. Okay. Who's addressed to? It's not readable. Happy birthday, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Happy birthday. I made you a present, but you'll have to open it when you get home because your company has lame rules. Guess what? I finally trotted with Lita. It was awesome. Um, what else? Oh, Ren peed in one of your cowboy boots. <laughs> Sorry. I really miss you. Tell Mr. Yu I said kids should be allowed in space. Well, I guess that's all for now. I love you.
Okay, so that's the cafeteria. I've been there. Recreation center just came from there. This is where I came from. I've been in the med bay. I've been up there. What's this way? Oh, that's the crew cabins. And the fitness center, so I haven't been there. So I think the two areas I haven't been to is the crew cabins and the fitness center and the executive suites. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything up here. Check, check, check. Is there anything back here? That just leads down. Where does this go? Oh yeah, I've already been in here. Well, I'll just get rid of some stuff real quick. I feel like I should go to the crew cabins first, but I also kind of just want to go to the executive suites. Mm, I'll do crew cabins first. Check out the fitness center. Uh, did I miss every time, or or what? Sorry, their head exploded. God damn it. I'm really letting them down, because if I zap them, they stay alive. Otherwise, they literally explode and they die. Sorry. Emma Betty? Isn't that one of the players of the Fortress game? Emma, it's Danielle. <sighs> trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't. Come. Emma? Please. No. Not Emma. I, I can barely hear you. Safe. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? It's not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. You can't. Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things, too. Rosalind's treasure map. Something saw me. Oh, yeah, I'm, like, super hurt.
There we go. Saved one. You're not like the rest of us. <laughs> I sounded awfully close. So many of them. I think I saved them all. Weights, treadmill, and punching bags upstairs. And over here's the swimming pool. Let's go check out the swimming pool. Hello. No wave transmitter, right? I love the reflections in the pool. Alright, let's go up. Although I can... Actually, I'm probably just going to go up when I go upstairs, right? Sound safe? Oh, I got a kick out to the executive suites. Personal training session. Uh, Emma, as you know, Morgan's availability is going to be extremely limited in the upcoming weeks. She'd like to schedule her personal training sessions tomorrow if possible. Could you possibly adjust your schedule to accommodate this window? Morgan would greatly appreciate it. Key code of the Executive Suites 1341. Treasure Hunt. Greetings, adventurers. Each of you should have a map fragment by now. I managed to hand them to some of you in person. Others might have noticed a new file on your workstations after the last session. 
They are mapped fragments. Work together and figure out the clues. Still need to find more, it looks like. Uh, once you have returned to my quarters, and you will be given your prize. <laughs> Neuromod Enhanced Yoga Beginner's Guide. Excerpt from pamphlet on Neuromod Enhanced Yoga by Emma Betty. Yoga is an excellent way for those with a physical series of Neuromod Enhancements to grow more in tune with their new capabilities. This is not only enriching, but provides a measure of safety, preventing you from hurting yourself or others. The Javelin Asana. This pose is a good starting place for testing your new extended limits, combining strength with balance. The pose begins with a basic handstand and will end with your body completely inverted, all of your weight supported by three fingers on your right hand. Three fingers? Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of maps, apparently. I don't see anything up here. Don't drop the weights. No food or alcoholic beverages. No... No infection, open wound, or... Diarrhea? No diarrhea. Got it. Try to get the golden gun. behind the glass. Sarah Elazar. Survivor's Count of the Evacuation Day 3. I think I've read this. Actually, no. I think I've read Day 2, but not this one. We had driven far enough that our fuel ran out. More jets flew over, headed toward the city. One circled back and made several passes over us, but did not shoot. That night in the desert, we sat by the empty truck and listened to the booming of artillery. Flashes of bombs and lightning covered the horizon. In the morning, our city was lost in what appeared to be shimmering heat waves. High overhead, there were brilliant flashes of light. Some said it was an atomic bomb, and others said it was God's wrath. Today, I know it was just an accident. Scientists that thought they knew everything, but they did not. There were so many people lost that day, so many that I can barely comprehend it. But it was Eliza that hurt my heart. I know she was just a dog, and I am ashamed of my feelings, but she did not make this world we live in. She was mine to protect, and I failed. Poor Eliza. The Orit. Highlight excerpt from the Song of Deborah, or Deborah, not sure, in the sacred texts of Beta Israel. Judges 526. Her hand she put to the tent peg, and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Sisera, she smote through his head, she pierced and struck through his temples. It sounds familiar.
from Alex U to Sarah Elazar, need security escort. I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security detail to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident, and he's pretty shaken. We're just not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely if necessary. Use discretion. I feel like I've read that before too. I think I maybe read that on someone else's computer on the receiving end. Or from Alex Yu himself, maybe. Something's on the station. Ma'am, you know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. Uh, I think I've read this too. Uh, yeah, I definitely read this. I'm sending this just because this just because after the alert I heard something in the vent over security thought I saw something black up there. I've definitely read that. I guess I read it from Elias uh, Black's perspective. Key card. Yep, read that. Help track another key card. Please add Illusion to the watch list. Also read that. Sound safe. Starbender Cycle Book 2, my enemy's enemy's enemy. You can read this if you want to. Oh no, I've definitely read this before. I've read this like five times. Strangling the Mordra Star Flare or something. the golden gun? Oh, it is the golden gun. I didn't even realize that. This is the golden gun quest. Artemis golden pistol. It's, um, it's gold. Is it any better than a normal pistol, or is it <laughs> just aesthetic? Gold-plated trophy pistol once belonged to the four-time world champion sport shooter, Seleth Rain. The champion visited Talos I to capture a connectomy of his brain in the Neuromod division. During his visit, he was moved to present the pistol as a gift to Captain Jada Marks. It says firepower 13, unmodified 10. I don't quite understand exactly what that means. Firepower 12, unmodified 8. Okay, so it does have higher base damage. Unmodified 10, unmodified 8. The reason I'm confused is that suggests it's modified, but according to this, it doesn't have any modifications? I don't get it. Maybe that's... No, I was thinking maybe it's the uh, the firepower after my abilities that give me, you know, plus 20% weapon damage and stuff like that. Ah, uh, maybe. But anyway, that's going to be my new pistol, definitely. Let's see what else is good about it. So better firepower, yes. Better magazine capacity? No. Better range? I don't think so. I think the base accuracy might be higher, I'm not sure. Depends how much it goes up with each upgrade. But just the firepower alone is enough for it to be worth it. Not that I use it very often, but why not? 
So let's upgrade it. Sign this to three, get rid of the pistol. Card can hack it. Hmm. Oh, Christ. Meant to attach that. Didn't seem to work, though. I'll try it again. Gotta be another way in. Orchestrated objective resol re reduction? Does this say reduction? Resolution? Res uh, I don't know. Pistol critical plus plus. Oh, that's for the psycho thing. Psychoscope. Increases the critical chance rate when firing pistols. What do I have again? Psycho shock shielding and far scan. Nah, I'm gonna keep this. Neural Horizon 1. Oh, I thought I hadn't read the Neural Horizon one, but I actually have. I guess near the beginning of the game, perhaps. That was a pretty tough one, had to go all the way around. From Bianca Goodwin, meeting Gustav. Oh, well, originally from this person too, Bianca Goodwin. Miss Goodwin, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place, and if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure, if possible. I relayed your previous requests and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. That person was a musician, right? Gustav Leitner, I guess they're a fan. cook's room. Looks like they were eating a book. Make a noble chef award. That must be what he wanted.
that's not creepy at all. Who is that? It kind of looks like me. Is that Morgan? I can't quite tell. Still though, that's very creepy. What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? Sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override per se. It was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. <sighs> do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet, Miss Show. Hi, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana pudding. <clears throat> this is an AB conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. I think that is Morgan. Well, that's that quest done, apparently. That should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spoof the lock on deep storage, anyway. Also, I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison. But with the coral, my instrument readings are... erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. Hmm. Sounds like they're changing. Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. I think this was in my original apartment. Yeah. Back at the very beginning of the game. This one's a level one computer to hack. Their password's password ABC. From Kevin Sabian to Will Mitchell, Will, sorry to contact you during your downtime, but Alex has been working through the 0400 hour shifts and has put in a food request at the front desk. Says you know what he likes, could you bring his meal to the executive suites? Go to the graph shaft. From Will to Morgan, emote upgrade. Morgan, hey, I guess you must have shifted cafeteria visits or taking food in your quarters now. Uh, but wanted to say thanks again for the emote upgrade. You should hear Skillet now, much better. Don't think Danielle liked it, so hopefully that doesn't cause any trouble between you two. Don't be a stranger. Still plenty of your favorite snacks in stock. Just swing on by whenever you get a breather. Appreciate the help, Will. No problem, don't worry about Danielle. Yep, I'm super sure that's me. the phantom poltergeist thingy I should be part of the Ghostbusters Bustin makes me feel good do 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 was somebody eating like a cat food tin in the toilet? The sound of splashing water always sounds a little bit like the mimics. That ticking noise. Okay, so... I didn't find a way in here. Maybe there just isn't a way in. It's possible.
Can I fit through here? If I did manage to get through there, I probably wouldn't be able to get out. Why am I still trying? Alright, it's not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, actually, because that person's office is right next to theirs, there could be a way in from there, and I, but I just can't get in here. Don't have a keycard. Alright, crew cabins, B. Gonna clear the hallway first. I hear creepy noises. Are they awake? No. Poltergeist. I'll kill him with my golden pistol. Oh, never mind. Always cleared. My new employer, Dr. Thorstein. I just wanted to write you personally and thank you for the new employer. I know some people have been on waiting lists to get one of these, and it was pleasant a surprise to find I already read this. Yeah, I've already read that. I think I also read this too. Wanted to clear a Morgan request. It's very odd to... Every time I read an email, I'm like, have I read this from the other side? I mean, it makes sense. Emails are between two people. Of course, you'd find them on the other person's computer. It's just, I don't know, hard to wrap my head around. Backlash is a chance to return damage to the attacker. Hmm. Sounds good. Anything I want to get rid of? Perform a sneak attack to restore some health. We can definitely get rid of that. Let's upgrade the pistol some more. I've got so much garbage now. Extra shotgun, three extra pistols, two extra wrenches. Let's go for accuracy. It looks like the base accuracy is not any better than the default pistol, so I think it's just the look and the damage. Bellamy's Cabin. I have a quest for this, don't I? Right? Yep. Bellamy's Cabin. I've been doing this quest since, like, the beginning of the game.
think I've already gotten a fury reactor. Yep, chance to trigger a fear blast on other nearby typhons when you kill a typhon. Did I turn it on by hitting it? How does that work? Whoa. Morgan U Typhon research data. Scan complete. Mm. Psionic aptitude available. Useless to me, unfortunately. From Alex, Morgan Solutions. Over the past several tests, Morgan has used different solutions to the same problem, even though we've been controlling every possible variable. Room A, for example. In test 9, she exercised precise control to move the boxes one at a time. In test 10, she simultaneously levitated them all straight up a few inches, technically completing the test. Then in 14, she incinerated them. If not for the safety glass, you'd... You... What? If not for the safety glass, you'd... You'd have been incinerated? Uh, what is happening after reset that's leading to this variance? I've probably got enough Neuromods to spend on something now. Yeah, I've got ten. Should I finally repair stuff? I really don't need more stamina. I really don't feel like I need more health. Better sneak attack damage would be pretty cool. Spring without making noise, hmm. I'll be like a shadow. Yes. Let's be honest, at this point it doesn't really matter what I spend my points on. Devries. Hmm. Secured pharmaceuticals. That's back in um, trauma center. Well, if that's not just the cutest little plant. Why do they have so many tissues? Lost your transcribe again. Hey, you've apparently misplaced your transcribe again. Just wanted you to know I still have some of your stuff in my room. Don't know if you want it back. Uh, call me or something. Abby. Oh, Danielle Show. It's one of those two people in love, right? can't play it. No, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. What? No, you need repair too. If I don't get repair too, I'm never going to find out what happened to the tragic space lesbians. I need to know. Um, okay, I'm spending all my skill points on repair. I'm coming back here. 
There's a tracking bracelet. A crumpled and incomplete handwritten note. Abby, it felt more personal to write you a note, but still not as terrifying as trying to apologize to you in person. I know I'm a coward, but I don't trust what I'm going to say, so... Sometimes the words come running out of your mouth, and you want to catch them all, but it's too late. They're out there. I... I'm not good at this. That's obvious. Words, words, blah. That's literally what it said, by the way. <laughs> Just in case you're not looking at the screens, it literally said words, words, blah. Friday night. To do, find missing transcribe. Check theater. Get my stuff from Abby's cabin. Finish draft of apology letter. Pull head of out... Head out of ass, prioritize relationships over work. Conversation archive, it's a date. Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> yes? See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So... Are you going to invite me to this game or not? <laughs> That's a weird way to go about it, but alright. Uh, Danielle, my workstation said that it was time to update my password. Wanted to know if it was okay to use Kublacon and whether that fits your requirements. Regards, Dr. Calvino. <sighs> Don't email your password to people. For starters, if you have any more questions about passwords, please email the IT department and don't use my personal address. Second, you should never type your password into an email, regardless of how tight your security is, you never know. Third, the password guidelines are just that, guidelines. You're all grown-ups and you can use whatever you want, but we have a list of recommendations for keeping your passwords safe. Okay, thanks. Hey Danielle, I'm pulling a late shift on the bridge tonight and I left my transcribe in my pod. Could I convince you to bring it for me on your way to deep storage? By the way, I have some ideas for making our uniform look a little more pop star for our demonstration at the Tulip. Don't be scared. Ah, treasure hunt. Already read that. Flowers. Star Matter Cycle again. Alright, I will come back. I keep looking at the names of all the phantoms and all the people that I taste looking for... What is it, Danielle Show or Abigail something? And I don't think I've seen them yet, so maybe they're okay? I don't know. Oh, 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 this is Abigail's cabin. Oh, they're right across from each other. Okay. Well, no body. <laughs> oh my god. They totally hung out here and played video games and ah, oh Christ, she's got a pinball machine in her place. Looking for any hidden notes. Yellow Tulip, join us for a private celebration of Transstar's success. Fatal Fortress Game Master's Dome. Starbender Cycle. Okay, so they're totally into, like, 
the equivalent of Dungeons and Dragons and pulpy, terrible sci-fi and video games. They played cards on the bed. Oops. Drama is real. Danielle had a meeting with the great Alex Yu today. He gave me one of his bullshit I'm sorry's with no resolution. Between him and Morgan, it's like a tradition. The Yu family sorry. Was it as insincere as a Danielle show apology? No. Danielle, I'm not saying working with him is easy, but did you just compare me to him? To that arrogant sack of shit? Danielle, this has to stop. You're right. Get out. We're done. Danielle! I said get out. No. That must be why they're writing the apology letter, right? Treasure hunt? Such a nerd, Abigail. Oh. Oh yeah, I never, I never even noticed that. The original email about the greetings, adventures, all the map fragments is from Abigail. From Danielle to Abigail, I tried calling Emma at the fitness center. Something seriously wrong there. Get out of crew and I'll come find you. Please be there, please. From Danielle, again. From Danielle, are you okay? I've heard some people were hurt. Where are you? I don't think this is a drill. Did you feel a vibration? It felt like a blast in the lower decks. God. It's beautiful. Oh, it's actually a physical model, too. Looks like it's being, I guess, recorded and then... 3D projected or something? break your beautiful glass. Never. I have never removed a neuromod. And yet, today, I could not find my way to the hardware labs. I wandered the arboretum for an, an hour. I made some excuse, but I know Miyu suspects. I cannot keep making toys for Transtar when... I told Alex what I want to try. He gave me a device to help. Parapsychological contraption. Morgan made it. Some of the components are beyond me. This dream, again, there is... 
There's something wrong with this station. Something here with us, but I am hallucinating now. There, uh, there, there is no question. Wait, what did he say again? Oh, I can't play it again. But I'm pretty sure he talked about uh, what a hallucination or a dream about there being something out there, something on the station. Isn't that what the past recording of Morgan said? Wasn't there a past recording of Morgan where she said something about having a dream of there being something out there in space watching us? I, I tried to open the locker, but I, I could not remember our anniversary. And for a moment, even her name escaped me. Her name! If one day... I wake up and cannot even remember the work I am doing. I must give it all to Morgan. She will know what to do with it. First test. Anterior electrodes overheated uh, after six seconds. But I swear, there was a moment I saw her again. The day we met on the Costa Amalfi, her lemon sundress. My Clorinda. Oh, anniversary reminder. enough neuromods to get the next repair. Yeah, I just needed repair too to repair the transcribe. Let's get that on the way back or let's let's just go to the bathroom first and then go back there. Fitness center code. Bill, if you're injured or sick, you get a pass. Otherwise, it is 75 minutes of exercise per week minimum. Another priest person eating a food tin in the freaking bathroom. Transcripts are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. Dear future us, today, future us, we are not calling ourselves that. Today, I was able to convince my beautiful but stubborn partner to stubborn <laughs> to stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get. <laughs> All right, habitation pods. Isn't this not the golden pistol? Wait. So the 
What's here is not the same as what's in my hotbar. No, it's not. Can I get rid of this somehow? Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't really use the quick bar that much anyway. Package pickup. Andrew's your package arrived. Front desk. If I'm not here, the code. Blah, blah, blah on the gate. Won't tell anyone if you don't. something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Milia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes. How she keeps. Visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Wanted to check in on you, Sky. Just a Naramod hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so... It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. Ah, another invitation to the yellow tulip. You've got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <clears throat> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway. Beneath a stone, you will find a magical keycard. This keycard will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, I don't need a key for that. And don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday. I remember a tree with some initials carved on it. Not enough space? What? No, no. Guess I'll just eat it. Bad dreams? Hi, Mommy. I've been having bad dreams since you left Dr. Preston, said I should draw it and that would help me make them go away. I hope you like my picture and come home come home come home soon. Love you, Cory. Oh god, that's the picture they drew? Cory, no.
Granger's Memoirs. Excerpt from a journal written by Harley Granger. I should still be down there playing. My guys needed me. And my shoulder just couldn't deliver. I couldn't deliver. I brought a lot of autographed gloves with me and passed them out like candy at Halloween. But it turns out a lot of these test tubers don't follow sports at all, much less know about my career, short as it was. What are the chances Mr. Yu could set me up with the neuromods I'd need to put me back in the game? Hell, he could buy a franchise and stock with the greatest players that ever lived. If I got a neuromod, would it be me playing? The league would never let modded players in, but how would they know? Looks like it's a copy of their character sheet. Looks like they used to be a runner. Judging by the medals in the pictures. I think that's it for here. Anyway, this episode is super, super long, so I think I'll end it here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I uh, suppose I'm going to go back to the cafeteria, and then after that, probably check out the executive suite. And then, probably after that, I've got some side quests to do. I want to go back to the trauma center and use that keycard that I found there. And I want to go back to the tree and find that keycard hidden under a rock. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.